so in nigeria currently there are five nigerians that are on the course on their way to sainthood and in the tradition of the catholic church there are principally four to five major steps or processes for the canonization of a saint in the catholic church so uh, we're going to look at these four processes the first is that the local bishop opens an official course for beatification and canonization. And this can only happen after the candidate whose course for sainthood is underway, you know, has passed away. A time frame is expected. A five year waiting period is required before the course for sainthood of an individual can be open. Can be a priest, can be a bishop, can be a catechist, can be a husband, can be a wife, can be anybody, can be a young lady, a young man, a child. It means all of us are called therefore into the life of sainthood. And saints therefore are ordinary men like you and I who live this life in, with extraordinary care and grace. But one thing is key, the Pope can waive this first part if need be. Now, the second stage of the course for sainthood is the informative process, which involves investigating the candidate's life to determine if they lived with heroic virtue. This can take several years and includes gathering all writings and testimonies from those who knew the candidate in person and by actions and way of life. It involves examining whether the person's death was also a product of martyrdom for the Catholic faith or rather for the Christian faith. The third stage is the voting process and this involves submitting the investigation to the congregation for the causes of saints. Now if the congregation approves the candidates, the Pope declares the candidates venerable. Venerable this, venerable that, venerable that is the name of the person. The final stage is the canonization and this requires a proof of at least two miracles in the name of the person. One after the beatification and another after canonization. So once the second miracle is confirmed, the Pope declares the candidate a saint and they officially recognize as saints or a saint by the authority of the Catholic Church. And their intercessions can be invoked at all times. Now, currently in Nigeria, five servants of God in Nigeria have been declared and we have come to know them. There are five servants of God on a path to sainthood in the Catholic Church in Nigeria. The servant of God is the first four of the stages which we talked about earlier before one is declared a saint. And currently, to the glory of God and salvation of souls and the work of evangelization in our own part of the world, the following brothers and sisters of us have now become servants of God, meaning they are now on this first stage. Number one, Reverend Father Abraham Anson Ojefua is the founder of the Order of the Knights of St. Molumba. This he found and he died in 1988 at the age of 78. The second is Bishop Michael Enega, the third bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Enugu, who served the diocese from 1978 to 1996. He died in 2008 at the age of 89. And very interestingly, the third is Archbishop Gabriel Gonsum Ganaka the second bishop and first archbishop of the Archdiocese of Jos, who served from 1974 until his death in 1999. He was aged 62. And finally, the fourth is our dearly beloved daughter and virgin, Vivian Uchechi Ogu, a 14-year-old Catholic girl who resisted being sexually defiled by armed robbers and was killed in Benin City in the Archdiocese of Benin in 2009. And finally, the fifth, Reverend Father Aaron Ejikemewa Eku, 
is a priest of the Diocese of Oka, Nigeria, ordained in 1965 in Vienna, Austria. He served in Austria and Nigeria and died in a fatal accident. Dear friends in Christ, we are all called to the life of sainthood, and these, therefore, are the processes, processes rather involved in the course of courses for sainthood. We pray that our dear brothers and sisters who have been called servants of God, now the power of sainthood, will continue to intercede for us as they enjoy the beatific vision in the company of God and his angels. God bless you. This is Catholic Nectars, and here we talk about issues concerning the Catholic Church that borders on our faith and keep us edified with the basic knowledge as we have them coming on our fingertips. If you love what we do, subscribe, feel free to share, and leave us with a question or comment to keep conversations going on this space. My name is Reverend Van Boniface Nebo, and I'm a Catholic priest here on the Archdiocese of Abuja, Nigeria. God bless you and to have a fruitful day and life all time.